One of the most flamboyant politicians in the world, Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, is under attack on all sides. There have been revelations of wild parties at his Rome residence. There were 20 girls there. It was like a harem. And allegations of cavorting with prostitutes. He loves women. But amid the sex scandals, there are more sinister suggestions of corruption and involvement with the Mafia. I have no doubt that the Mafia had a 30-year association with Berlusconi's companies. Through it all, Berlusconi stays in power, popular among huge sections of society. Silvio Berlusconi is not just a politician. He's a rock star. In Italy, he's like the Beatles. So what is the secret of his success? Viva la Lombardia! Viva l'Italia! Sono non soltanto a mio giudizio il miglior presidente del Consiglio che si possa reperire oggi. Io ho verificato tutto quello che hanno fatto gli altri presidenti del Consiglio nella storia. Credo che non ci sia nessuno a cui io mi debba sentire inferiore. I'm returning to the country of my birth to understand how Silvio Berlusconi has stayed in power for so long and to see if he can survive. I haven't lived here for 25 years. Reading about him abroad, Berlusconi is regarded with curiosity and bemusement. It appears his life story is no ordinary tale, a drama full of dark mysteries, grand passions and comic moments. A uniquely Italian soap opera. The man known abroad keeps the German premier waiting. First, the leader of the free world is tanned, and who is shameless about his own cosmetic surgery and hair implants, and whose reactions when challenged can be very undiplomatic. When a German politician dared criticize Berlusconi, his response shocked the European Parliament. Signor Schulz, so che in Italia c'è un c'è un produttore che sta montando un film sui campi di concentramento nazisti. La suggerirò per il ruolo di capo. Lei è perfetto. In 2009, blunders gave way to scandals. In the spring, his wife of 20 years, Veronica, announced she wanted a divorce, accusing him of consorting with young girls. And the year ended with him being assaulted in Milan. Berlusconi is almost halfway through his third term as Prime Minister, and his coalition enjoys a sizable majority. But a few days after I arrived, I realized there was another side to his story. This is Say No to Berlusconi Day. An estimated 200,000 people took to the streets of Rome. What struck me is how angry the protesters are. This is as much about personality as it is about policies. 
cioè lui non mi piace, non mi piace la disonestà, non mi piace la non chiarezza, non mi piace il modo in cui lui tratta chi non la pensa come lui, in poche parole non è democratico. interesse non pensa a noi cittadini, ai giovani e ho paura del domani con le scuole. Ma è la gente, la gente che lo vota perché lo vota? Ah guarda, io vengo da una famiglia poverissima, mi chiede, papà era pastore e mamma era contadina. I miei parenti, tutti i poveracci, votano tutti i Berlusconi, non pensa che sono. Perché sono. Perché sono i Berlusconi? Some here see Berlusconi's style as autocratic, evoking memories of fascism. He's in a coalition with one of the most far-right parties in Europe. Last year, they passed draconian anti-immigration laws. But more controversial is the apparent conflict of interest between Berlusconi's business affairs and his political power. Io sono qui semplicemente perché ritengo sbagliato il modo con cui si fa la politica in Italia, cioè attraverso la televisione controllata. Berlusconi ha più controllo over his country's television than any other European leader. His companies own the three largest commercial networks. Today's demonstration barely made the news on his channels. Eh, comuni diamo subito il benvenuto a Silvio Berlusconi. Presidente del Consiglio e leader del Popolo della Libertà. Molte grazie. The Premier always has access to the airways whenever he chooses. He is, however, very careful about who he gives interviews to, especially when scandal is in the air. Matrix is a current affairs program on one of Berlusconi's channels, presented by a good friend of mine, Alessio Vinci. How's it going, mate? Good to see you coming in. Hello. Coming in. Got some wine and cheese for you. I respect Alessio as a serious journalist. I wanted to know his perceptions of Berlusconi when they met and whether he regarded the leader as under siege. I've spoken to people who know him quite well, people who are at the top of the company that I work for, who often tell me he's alone. He's a man who sees that most of the people who surround him are people who need something from him. Uh, he feels that um, he has few friends, real friends, and he feels that out there there are people who want to see him out of a job, possibly behind bars. This is a guy who has survived incredible amount of scandals and accusations, and he's still there. If they were in another country, he would never have survived those scandals. And it's precisely because he's managed to survive them that there is a problem with Italy. That's the whole point. Well, why, why do you have to call it a problem? If you don't like him, if you don't like what he does, if you don't like what he says, vote him out. Vote him out. Uh, the big question is why Italians keep uh, electing him. Everything that for us, uh, as Italians, is a plus is seen abroad as being a negative, especially if you are someone who is a politician, who is a prime minister. You know, um, most Italians like to dodge taxes. I don't know if most Italians, many Italians like to dodge taxes. Okay, mm -hmm. if you're the prime minister, you dodge taxes. It is a bigger problem. The Italians, it's all, all, all in one. It's the same thing. They, they don't make this difference. Politicians are not necessarily held up to higher standards. So the conclusion is really that the conclusion is, my friend, Mark, Italians like him. They have the leader they like. It's as simple as that.